going on everyone? Trav here with Chaotic Strategies and we are coming back with another how to play mini series. In this mini series we are going to be going over how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! The Trading Card Game. If you guys are new to the channel please be sure to hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell so that way you guys are always notified when I post new videos. Yu-Gi-Oh! is by far one of my all-time favorite card games. I got into it very young when it first came out as an anime and just progressed as through the years. I've just been hooked, you know, competitive play and all that. I took a hiatus for quite a few years and then recently got back into it within the last three or four years. Just a phenomenal game and it's grown substantially and is still growing today. And it's by far probably one of the leading card games as of right now amongst the big three, Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and then of course we have Yu-Gi-Oh! as well. So, getting right on into how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! The Trading Card Game, you first have your main deck here which consists between 40 and 60 cards. That's the traditional gameplay deck size. You can't have any less than 40 or any more than 60. We also have an extra deck that consists of 15 cards. That's got all of our special cards in there. Our fusion cards, Xyz cards, synchro cards, link cards, just all sorts of our more powerful fusion and just different ways to get into some uh, powerful monsters there in our extra deck. Again, that's 15 cards. And then also we have a side deck that also consists of 15 cards. So the side deck is going to kind of be our backup cards, our go-to cards. So if we come across an opponent that's a little bit tough to beat and our main deck just can't cut it, we can intermatch between our main deck and our side deck to kind of help uh, battle those tougher opponents. Okay, so the way we set up our board is we have our main deck to the right side of us, our extra deck to the left, and you can set this up in different configurations, however that you want, but everything up here is where everything is going to take place. So to, in a typical Yu-Gi-Oh mat, we have five monster zones on the top and then five spell or trap card zones on the bottom. We cannot play more than five monsters at a time or more than five spell or trap cards at a time as well. And then normally up here, we have two spots, which is going to be our extra monster zone, which is where our link monsters, pretty much anything that comes out of the extra deck is going to go into these two spots. So to start off with, you can either flip a coin, rock, paper, scissors to determine who goes first, and then you draw six cards, okay? Your starting hand consists of six cards, okay? So on your very first turn, you do not draw a card. You don't draw a card on your very first turn, and you cannot attack on your very first turn as well. So going into our monster cards, okay, our monster cards are going to look something like this. We have an attribute here at the top. This one is wind. They can be water, dark, light, so on and so forth. These little star orbs here, those are going to be the level of our card. Coming down here, this is the type. Okay, she's a spellcaster type. And then down here is going to be our attack and defense ratings for this card as well. Any cards that are level 4 or lower can be normal summoned onto the field. Okay, you can only normal summon once per turn in the game. Okay, unless you have some other cards like double summon that allow you to normal summon more than once in one turn. So going first, you know, I can normal summon uh, my Wind Witch Ice Bell. She actually has an effect that allows her to be special summoned, but we'll get into special summoning in a later video. Okay, we also have spell cards like Ayatomias here, okay? All of our spell cards are going to have a green border. Again, all the, sp all the cards have different attributes. Spell card, and then next to the spell card with spells, we have several different types. We have a quick play spell card, which would have a lightning bolt symbol next to this, or a continuous spell, which would have a figure eight next to this as well. And then, of course, these are going to be normals. We can play as many spell cards in one turn as we can, that allows. Uh, we can also set spell cards face down. You know, if they have they have a quick play, we can play them during our opponent's turn. Um, you know, we can activate them during certain changes throughout the game, which we'll get into in later videos. Also, when we special summon or normal summon a monster, we can also normal set 
a monster. So this monster right now set sideways and is in defense position. Their effects do not activate when they are face down. Next turn you can either flip it, activate its effects, or whenever it's attacked it will flip face up as well. And when you're able to special summon cards, you can special summon into face up defense position right off the bat if you choose to. And then lastly, we also have our trap cards. Okay, they're gonna have this pink border here. Trap cards also have attributes, and you'll also see symbols next to trap cards as well. This one in particular is normal, but you also have a lightning bolt up here for a quick play trap card. You'll have a reverse arrow, that means that's a counter trap card, or you'll have the figure eight up here as well, which means that's a continuous trap card. So trap cards can, all, can only be laid face down and activated during our opponent's Turn. There'll be some trap cards that allow you to do other things like you can activate them on your turn Again, that just all determines the text down here on the card All of our cards have our effects printed down below so that way we know exactly what they do So if you're going first that's pretty much your turn you can't attack you can't draw anything like that So going into the your opponent's next turn now they can draw they automatically go into their draw phase, they can draw a card. Once they're done with their draw phase, it goes into the main phase, which now we can either normal summon a monster, special summon a monster, uh, we can play our spells, set our traps, do whatever we need to do. So if I already have a monster onto the field, then I can either tribute or special summon. Again, if you tribute a monster, that counts as a normal summon. So cards, like Apprentice Illusion Magician, who is a level six. So cards level five or six only require one tribute to get them onto the field. So in order to tribute, all we would have to do is pull our Ice Spell to tribute, bring out Apprentice Illusion. Ice Spell would then go to the graveyard, which usually sits either above or below our main deck. Our Banishment Zone, which is gonna be cards that get removed completely from play, would sit right above our graveyard okay so i attributed ice spell to bring out apprentice illusion magician or if i had two monsters on the field and i wanted to bring out an even stronger monster that had an even higher level than six we tribute two okay so dark magician is level seven any card that's level seven or higher requires two tributes to get them out onto the field so i would do the same thing i would tribute these two send them to the graveyard bring Dark Magician out onto the field. Okay, so once we get done with our main phase, getting whatever monsters we want out onto the field, and getting our spells and traps, playing spells and traps, getting everything set up there, then we move into the battle phase. So the battle phase has a few different, so if I wanted to attack with my Dark Magician on uh, Wind Witch Ice Spell, Dark Magician has attack of 25. Again, down here at the left, you can see our attack and defense down here. So his attack is 25, his defense is 21. So if Ice Bell is in attack position and my Dark Magician is in attack position, then I can attack with Dark Magician to our Ice Bell. Ice Bell has a thousand attack, Dark Magician has 25. So then we just take the difference. 25 minus a thousand is 15. <clears throat> my opponent takes 1500 points of damage and Ice Spell goes to the graveyard. In a traditional game of Yu-Gi-Oh, each player starts with 8,000 life points. Now, if Ice Spell was set sideways in defense position, or even face down sideways defense position, if I attacked while it was face down, it would flip face up, calculate the difference. Her defense is only a thousand. Again, Dark Magician is 2,500, but my opponent does not take any damage if I attack a defense position monster, unless my monster does piercing and then piercing battle damage, which then I would do the same thing as a normal attack and subtract the difference from my opponent's life points. Instead, she will just go to the graveyard. 
And so pretty straightforward on the battle sequence. There are a few different things as you get deeper into the game that allow you to do a lot of things during the battle step and then the damage step. But after our battle phase, we then have a main phase two, which you don't have to do. Main phase two pretty much allows you to either normal summon, if you haven't normal summoned in your main phase one, it allows you to set spell cards, allows you to set trap cards. You know, it still allows another chance to play some of the cards that you didn't play through your main phase one once main phase two is done or if you don't have anything to play in your main phase two then it skips to the end phase and it goes back to your opponent very straightforward very simple um, gameplay I mean it's one of the easiest games to play in my opinion besides Pokemon Pokemon uh, is by far the easiest trading card game to play but Yu-Gi-Oh! is very simple. It's got a very straightforward um, battle system and just playing system all together. So with that being said, that is just the complete barebone <clears throat> basics on how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! the trading card game. So again, you either have your main deck between 40 and 60 cards, no less than 40, no more than 60. You have your extra deck of 15 cards, a side deck of 15 cards. We start with six cards in our hand and each player starts with 8,000 life points of damage. Monsters with a level 4 or lower can be normal summoned once per turn. Cards with level 5 and 6 require one tribute that still counts as a normal summon. And cards with levels 7 and up require two tributes. Again, still counts as a normal summon, so you can only do each of those once per turn. We have spell cards, which can be activated during our turn, some during our opponent's turn. Trap cards will be set and can only be activated during our opponent's turn. So vertical is our attack position, monsters. Horizontal is defense position. And then face down also counts as defense position too. This counts as a set. And the effects cannot be activated while the card is set. In next week's video, I will go over in more detail on how to play spells and traps, when to use them, how to set up chains, how chains actually revolve. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, comment, let me know what you guys think, let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. I hope you guys are being safe out there. Be sure to wash those hands, and we'll see you in the next video.